getting ready for our first ever trip to Puerto Vallarta. It's just a work retreat, whale watching, husband and wife week. Para abrochar su cinturón de seguridad, inserte la punta metálica dentro de la hebilla y ajuste. Thank you for showing up and welcome to Puerto Vallarta. All right, y'all, we made it. We here. for this trip to Puerto Vallarta was to see whales before the end of the season. We gleefully checked into our Airbnb, just kind of sat back, enjoyed some drinks and the views, all in anticipation of scratching this one adventure off of our bucket list. It is 6.20 in the morning. Um, really excited about today uh today is the day i get to go whale watching uh, i don't know i'm excited don't know that's my wife oh, yes. she going whale watching too y'all yeah. this is my favorite uh animal on earth Y'all, it's just a beautiful vibe out here right now. 7.30 in the morning, um, fishermen are setting up, getting ready to go out, do their catch for the day. Uh, all the tours are setting up. And it's just beautiful out here. We got picked up at, um, at eight, so we started pretty early. So that was pretty cool. We headed out, and uh, I think to the north side of the bay, and then just waited for the magic to start. Eduardo, what's happening? You gonna be, you cool being on YouTube? Okay. All right, all right. Uh. Yeah, mucho gusto. Okay. Gracias. Ah, uh, come on. I was absolutely shocked to find out that 700 whales migrate to this bay every single year. So 
to this bay to give birth. So you will largely see them in pods and it's all about family. <laughs> you see them once before? Never, bro. Oh, First baby. time, yes. What a lucky you have, man. That's the end of the season. Right? <laughs> I know, that's why we tried to get here so desperately. I think we got pretty lucky with this whale watching tour um, because the season has been really active for the whales. Not only that, there are less people taking tours, so we got a boat to ourselves. We we're the only two people on the boat. Um, so it's just really cool to kind of be out here at this time where we kind of have the space to explore. So them the boys breaking up the party, too many boats together. So everyone is gathered here around the same area. These came to break up the party. What are you doing that? <laughs> We just had a fantastic whale watching tour and we even got to see some dolphins a in there. School of dolphins getting down, yo. All up and down this bay chasing chasing whales around all. Mm -hmm. Chasing wheels around all morning. Uh, then we ended up chasing some dolphins around, yo. Um, uh, we got right in the middle of, right in the mix of it, and they were just everywhere. You turned your head. This was a fantastic experience, man. It was nice. It was great. I would definitely recommend the experience. Strongly recommend the experience, yo. Ready to get up? Yeah. Let's all right, y'all. That was 
Awesome, baby. Yeah. Um, look, y'all know why we came to uh, Puerto Vallarta. We only came for the whales. Straight up. Uh, we had to get here before the close of the season, um, and we made it by a narrow margin. We did. Oh, my God. The season ended uh, at the end of March, mm -hmm. so we caught the very tail end of it, and we are so happy we went. Man, look, we were heavily blessed, man. Uh, our shout-out to Viking Fishing, shout-out to Eduardo and my man uh, Omar. Omar. Those are a dope skipper and first mate, man. These guys are phenomenal. If you guys go to Puerto Vallarta, look them up. Viking Fishing. Um, look, <laughs> my man got eagle eyes, yo. Uh, he spotted a, 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 a sea turtle from like 200 yards out. Yeah. 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 And the first we didn't see the dolphins. My man was like, look, uh, there are some dolphins and some birds feeding right there. I didn't see a damn thing. <laughs> I mean, maybe it took like two minutes or so just cruising along before I even began to see like what was happening. But when we saw him, yeah. Skipper took us right into the middle of the uh, pot of dolphin, and it was it was a, it was straight. It was a frenzy. It was a frenzy, man. The dolphins were eating. The 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 dog on birds were eating. Dolphins were racing the boat. Uh, it was just crazy. Like you just didn't know where to record. It, it was, was uh it was sensory overload, and it was phenomenal, and it was beautiful. Really, really, mm -hmm. really, really glad to be uh, uh did that trip. Yeah. But. Puerto Vallarta. So we did some other stuff while we were there, right? I mean, not too much, because really that was the only reason we came, right. but right. we had to eat. Right. Um, right. We ate at some really good restaurants. Uh, so, first honorable mention to that pizza spot we went to when we first oh, got there. Yeah. That was delicious. Pizza spot um, called uh, Los Muertos Brewing. Thank you, Known for great pizza and really good craft beers. Craft beers. Uh, but for me, the yeah. hot wings was on point. They used Frank's Red Hot Hot Sauce on their hot wings. So, Phenomenal. Yeah, he's a wing lover. Yeah, so <laughs> deal with that. Uh, but uh, highbrow, kind of highbrow place to eat. You gotta use, get a reservation. Um, oregano. Oh. I'm trying a recommended restaurant in Puerto Vallarta called Oregano. It is a Caribbean cuisine. Um, we're looking forward to the dishes. Yo. We just finished eating at Oregano. We are stuffed. Man, I just want to curl up, stick my thumb in my mouth, and pass the fuck out. <laughs> It's <laughs> really good Caribbean, authentic Caribbean cuisine in Puerto Vallarta. They claim to have the best oxtails in town. The oxtails was good, yo. And a slamming curry. The braised oxtails were good. Uh, the dish that I had, they had, they did this minced meat with goat cheese, parmesan, um, and raisins. Oh, no, it was it was on point, boy. It was really with good. some pasta, that was great. So anyway, if you guys are ever in the neighborhood, oregano. Check it out. It's really good food, really good Caribbean food, man. Right. It would make a reservation. It is a small place. They do take their health precautions seriously. Um, but yeah, make a reservation if you're in Puerto Vallarta. And shout out to Emmanuel who gave us this recommendation. Yeah, man. Good look. You were on point, brother. Thank you very much. Man, our subscribers can rock, yo. Yeah, they do. All right, man. You got to get to the crib so I can pass out. Woo! Um. And they had a little resident mascot. Oh, taco. <laughs> So shout out Taco. If you guys go, make sure you got y'all show Taco some love, man. Look, man, listen to the locals. Listen to the locals. They know best. And speaking of which, our skipper gave us a recommendation, mm -hmm. right? We were looking for some really good seafood, and they told us about Ocho Tostadas, and it was uh, in the marina. In the marina, um, the food, man. They got octopus. They got ceviche. They got uh, 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 chili. Aguachile. They have uh, all kinds of empanadas, seafood yep. empanadas, and my favorite, yes, that Ria Snapper. Mm -hmm. um, look, uh, the old city in Puerto Vallarta is magnificent. Is it touristy? Yes, it's touristy, but is it cool? Yes, yes. it's cool as hell, man. Tons of shops to pop in and out of, um, and just the, the aesthetic is cool and pleasing, um, and the food, man. You can, you can just go to the middle of any street, throw a rock, and hit a good restaurant. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. Our trip was short, but we did what we wanted to do while we were there. Right. We know that we're definitely going to return because we loved it uh, when we went. So if you have any uh, recommendations, suggestions on what we should do next time we go, let us know in the comments. Another quick recommendation. Look, if you go to Puerto Vallarta, you have to get a view. If you can, you know what I'm saying? But True. look, man, that made yeah. a big difference. Yeah. We usually go the Airbnb route and we picked one that had a really good view of Vendetta's Bay and it just, it was just so nice to come home chill. to the Airbnb just to sit on the patio or just to look at the view. It was and lounge. serene. We tried our best to stay in real, cooked pancakes, cooked inside the house, you we know did. what I'm saying? We didn't leave too um, often. 
this was a getaway that was much appreciated. Uh, and thank you guys for rolling with us, man. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you really like it, pass it to a friend, y'all. Mm -hmm. um, if you're watching, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we really appreciate you guys button. joining the family. Come on now, we need you, we appreciate you, we're trying to grow, and we're trying to provide some dope content for you. Yep. Um, I guess that's it, man. Uh, my name is Rondell. I'm April. Uh, we are Nomadic Wonder. Thank you guys for joining us today. Deuces up.